Good day, everybody. I'm back again. This is Dr. Nandi with another problem in statistics. I will solve it with TI-84. Okay, without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So this is a problem on linear regression hypothesis test for slope and confidence interval calculation for slope. The problem is an educator wants to determine how the number of absences for a student in our class affects the student's final grade. The data obtained from a random sample are shown. So X values are number of absences and Y, the dependent variable is final grade. X is the independent variable. Test the hypothesis beta. Beta is the population slope of the least square regression line. Beta is not equal to zero at alpha equal to 0 0.05. Find a 95% confidence interval for the slope. That's part B. So first we will enter the X data in L1 and Y data in L2. Then we will go to stat, press the stat button, highlight test in the top row, and then go down with your cursor to lin reg t test linear regression t test scroll down there and then hit enter x list is l1 y list is l2 frequency should be 1 and the fourth line is the alternate hypothesis beta is the population slope and rho rho is greek small r it is the population correlation coefficient and your cursor should be on not equal to zero. Remember that is the alternate hypothesis. So put the cursor on not equal to zero for both and hit enter, okay? So your null hypothesis is beta equal to zero and the alternate beta not equal to zero. And then you go down to calculate and hit enter. So what do you get? You get the regression line equation, which is the best fit line is y hat is equal to 96.78 minus 2.67 times x. That is a least square regression line equation. And the test statistic t for the alternate hypothesis that we are testing is minus 10.027. Look at the p-value is 0 0.00055. And what is the alpha value? 0 0.05 that's already given to us. That is the level of significance. So P is less than alpha. Hence our decision is reject H0. And our conclusion is that alpha equal to 0 0.05, there's enough evidence to support the alternate that beta not equal to zero. Okay, population slope is not equal to zero. Okay. Now we want to calculate the 95% confidence interval for the slope, okay. Uh, the formula for SB is equal to SE divided by square root of SXX. What is SE? That is the standard deviation, estimated standard deviation of the error, okay? And that comes in the calculator in uh, the lin reg t test. If you scroll down, you will see S. That value is shown on the calculator as 2.775. Now we need to find out SXX. And this is the formula for SXX, which is the first term is sum of Xs square. So you square all the Xs, add them up, minus sum of X in parentheses. So you add all the Xs here, and then you square that sum and divide by N where N is the sample size. How do I find sum of Xs square? We go to stat calc one. One where stats, okay, we stat, then we highlight calc, then we select number one, which is one where stats, 
list is L1. Next line should be empty and we go to calculate. Sum of X squared is 337. Sum of X is 37. So what is SXX? It is 337 minus 37 squared. Remember sum of X is 37 squared divided by six. So how do I do it in the calculator? I do 337 minus parenthesis, left parenthesis, 37. Then I press the X square button to get the exponent two divided by N is six, close the parenthesis and enter. So SXX is 108.83. As I told you, we already know S, which is the standard deviation of the error term, okay? So SB is equal to S error, which is 2.775 divided by 108.83, which is SXX, okay? And it out works out as 0 0.025. The formula for the 95% confidence interval for the slope is given by B, which is the slope we get from the sample regression plus minus T critical value multiplied by SB. We know B from previous step, B is the slope is nine minus 2.67, okay? So we need, we also know SB, which is 0 0.025. So we need to find out the T critical value that is based on degrees of freedom, N minus two is six minus two is equal to four. Six is your sample size, six minus two is four. And 95% confidence interval. So area in the left tail and also in the right tail is alpha by two. Now my C level is 0.95. So my alpha is one minus C, one minus 0.95 is 0 0.05. And alpha by two is 0 0.05 by two is 0 0.025. So I go to find out the critical value. I do second verse four, which is empty. And area in the left tail is 0 0.025. Degrees of freedom I previously established is six minus two, four. And I paste enter and enter. I create a critical value of 2.776. Actually, I get the negative critical value, which is on the left of the mean. Remember the mean at the center is T is zero. So the left critical value is minus 2.776. And the right critical value is 2.776. The left critical value on the left tail is 0 0.025 area for the right critical value on the right tail, right of the critical value is 0 0.025 area in the right tail. So I plug those information. So my B, that is the sample slope is minus 2.67 plus minus T critical is 2.776 times uh, the, the formula is uh, times SB, which is 0 0.025. Remember B plus minus T critical value multiplied by SB. So if I do the calculations correctly, it is minus 2.67 plus minus 0 0.0069. Okay, now to get the lower bound, we'll subtract. So minus 2.67 minus 0 0.069, which is minus 2.739. And to get the upper value or upper boundary of the confidence interval, we will do minus 2.67 plus 0 0.069, which is minus 2.601. So with 95% confidence, we can state that the population slope will fall between minus 2.74 and minus 2.6. Okay, that's it for this problem. If you have any question, do not hesitate to write a comment and please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week with a new problem which I solve by TI-84. Thanks for watching, take care and have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye.